traps and just firmly just allowing you to breathe into that there she, goes. she knows so for you therapists out there you bunny therapists always encourage the person you're helping just to take gentle breaths become very aware of their breath because fundamentally you're using the ebb and flow of their breath as the melody, as the rhythm of what's happening here. You'll notice that the more you make him relaxed, the more deeper and the more effortless their breath starts to come and go. And sometimes people start snoring. <laughs> I see this hold. So right now, a, a scapula is, is not defined, you see? <laughs> There's no definition in it, so we're going to help to open up, open it up. Boo, 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 boo. It must be here, okay. Some more linen in a minute. Apply here again. Traps, but also the terrace major muscles right here. Shoulder. So I take courage to scap you to relax. Ta-da! You see, there's more of the scapula, no? Yeah, more of the scapula. Which means the muscle groups along the shoulders have become a bit more relaxed. Remember, the, this bone here is a free-floating bone. It shouldn't be fixed. If it's fixed in any way, you'll have restrictions in the whole of the movement. Good Lord, take some nice deep breaths, yeah? Good, nice deep breaths. Yes. Good, nice deep breaths. Good, nice deep breaths. Here we go, that's much more. Yay! Look at that! We got, look, we got, a, we got a wing. <laughs> the, the wing has returned. So in life, sometimes you find that if you're going in circles, it, it could be that your shoulders are stiff and you're you're flapping one wing. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> the way your body is, it's gonna really affect how you think. 
the way your body is is going to really affect the way how you think. So if you find that you're, you're running in circles, it might mean that you've got a twist in your hip <laughs> or your tail is pointing the wrong way or it's stuck in the one direction. Again, just nice breaths. Good. Just nice breaths. Just nice breaths. Nice breaths. Just nice breaths. So what I'm going to do now is I've kind of loosened up the shoulders. I want to give the lock a cat stretch, what I describe as a cat stretch. I want to hold on, whoosh, whoosh. I mean, look, you just keep on breathing. You relax. Let go of your head. Let go. Let go of your neck. And just breathe. Just breathe. Just breathe. So you notice we're getting the shoulder blades to meet the shoulder blades on the back to meet. So Tab, you come up here from this angle here, you see the shoulder blades, they're meeting. Yeah, we're creating this, this, this valley, this, this valley on the back. You see? How the shoulders meet in the middle. And you just breathe for log, yeah? Good, and then now what I'm going to do, I'm gonna to listen to her breath, and as she breathes out, I'm gonna Okay, now I'm gonna bring it back down, then push. So now the spine's much more, see there's a nice valley now, this is nice and, nice contouring. was around the bone. <coughs> Get to the other one. Okay, I'm gonna sit on, I'm gonna sit on her lumbar. Then you just relax your neck, okay? Relax your neck and you just breathe. Holding on just before the elbow joint, just to really stretch this thoracic area. Just 
gently and just ask, log, just give him nice breathing, just keep him breathing. Yeah, just keep him breathing. Imagine you're diving into the water. Imagine you just jumped off a cliff and you're diving into the ocean. You're diving deep into the ocean. That's it. Everyone a little, we're gonna relax there for a bit. So which now is gonna reveal this area here to be much more looser. There's, there's more of an opening for me to work now with her neck. So be, so for you budding therapists out there, be mindful with some skin conditions that you might see. So in this case here, I can see that Locke has some slight irritation. So I'm not gonna put so, no liniment in here. Just to be careful we don't cause any more you know, more, more harm to the skin. Look, nice breathing. Nice breathing. Yay. Just made a correction here. Was, 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 was we loosened, we relaxed everything up to the point where I saw that it needed help. So I just made a little correction there. And we do now, this energy is gonna start running all the way from the sacrum, all the way from the root towards the crown. The root towards the crown. And that's gonna feel amazing now, but she had a lot of tension built up here around the shoulders. There was tension around the shoulders and also on this side, on the uh, side, it was that side. Then once you know, I'm gonna do the stretch, I'm gonna hold on just below the elbows. Just below the elbows. I'm gonna sit on her lumbar. I'm gonna sit on her lumbar. And then gently raise the elbows towards me. Let go of your neck. That's it. And just breathe. Just breathe. There, and each time you breathe, a time, each time the breath goes, feel your body, this area sink. Feel the stretch each time you breathe out, really feel the stretch. And each time you breathe, notice that your breath becomes deeper. Good. So now, yeah, we're standing on, the, on top of the cliff and we're jumping down into the water, diving deep to find treasures unknown. There. See, now there's more angle here, now it's more straight. Maybe going a bit further back and you can see the whole the, from the foot to the leg. <laughs> yeah, see more where Tao is. If you more where Tao is, isn't it? Can you see from the feet all the way to the hands, you see her posture now. It's like she's diving. Yeah, it's like she's diving, yeah? Well done. Ah, oh, damn. So we're going to stop wrapping it up now. <clears throat> Let's gently rock this side as well, as we, we haven't really done this side. I'm just going to gently rock this side. So I, I want a towel to form from this angle so now you can see my posture as well. You see, my posture is not, uh, 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 you know, I'm always make sure that I'm centered. If I'm centered, then I'm, I'm comfortable. So 
So right now, I'm, it's almost like I'm still meditating, you know? Always allowing the breath to come and go. When we do bong from up here, we're simulating that she's running. We're simulating that she's stepping on his foot. Now I go deeper, I can use this part of my body, I can go deeper. So just gently. Yeah, this acupressure points. You simulate like they're stepping on pebbles. So for you guys out, you know, out there, if you really want to ground yourself, if you really want to help your body, maybe walk barefoot a bit more often. Go out to nature on a pleasant day if you, if you want to in the beginning and just walk out barefoot, have a roll around in the grass, roll down a hill, climb a tree carefully. <laughs> and then start introducing your feet to different types of terrain. In the beginning it's grass, then straw, then fallen branches, rocks, pebbles, sand. As you do this, your body will really benefit from it. wants to be here. It's not an ideal position, but it's good. Yeah. Yeah. Be careful with people's calves if they're sensitive. You might need to ask them, you know, if the pressure's okay. But because I've been working with Locke's whole body, I can really sense how much pressure she needs. Be very generous with the way you hold. Be very loving in the way you want to help.
So this was the tent side, so now I'm just gonna just shake it vigorously. Get all the muscles to wrap around the bone. And this is something you could do for yourself. You could just shake your leg from your hips. So I reset the, the ankle here. Okay, one more time. Whoosh. Relax your head. Relax your head. Relax your head. Yeah, and you just breathe. You just breathe. I'm sitting on her lumbar, sitting on the sacral iliac. Good, and you just breathe. So now we're gonna introduce these, these movements to the spine now. It's left and right, it's back. Just gently get the whole spine to move like a snake or a dragon. Whoosh. There, well done. Okay, okay, relax your head, relax your head. So this is the last bit of the puzzle now. I'm gonna put my fingers underneath. That's it, you breathe, you breathe. Yeah. You notice I have to remind her to breathe. Yeah, a lot of people hold their breath. Just relax breathing, relax breathing. Yeah, that's it, that's about. Got my fingers underneath her neck, where the traps are, I'm gonna pull the traps up, just to lower the shoulders, so the shoulders can lower. Tao, can I have the liniment, please? Yeah, thank you. Yeah, that's enough, yeah. Just stretching behind here. Get go get go go there more, you know. Yeah. Can I learn for new 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 girl? Can I get a little more? Taking that for massage. I'm doing that. Damn. And again, I've got my fingers underneath her thoracic on either side of her spine, arching the back up. And as Lob breathes, we're going to really help this to make this her default position for her spine to be more supple. And doing so, we're going to be able to And doing so, we're going to be able to do it. And you start them. Yeah. That's it. And you're just helping to arc that back, arch the back. Gently pulling the traps up. There, a bit more loose, a bit more. Mm. Okay, keep breathing. 
I'm doing pushing on to the pecs. Just here, everyone gets very tight, pushing on the pecs. And as the log breathes, you feel here, it starts to stretch here, open the lungs. Yeah, very tight here. Very tight here. Very tight here. Good. Patting directly on the ribs encouraging her to really acknowledge the ribs as she breathes. Rocking the whole of the rib cage. Holding on top and whoosh, whoosh. Here we're sending energy into the lungs. And I'm simulating, it's almost like we're running. So you can imagine now, like you're running, okay? It's like you're running. That's it. And you want these lungs to fill. There we go, just nice, gentle running. Running up and down hills. Yeah, that's it. Allowing his ribs to expand. That's better. And then we got more of this neck to play with now. Breathe. So I'm, I'm able to pull more of the traps up. I'm able to stretch the traps up. There. So I was able to, because there was a lot of energy trapped here, I was able to bring it up and made a correction. So now the energy goes up, up towards the crown. There we go, Em. Look, you relax, you relax, you breathe. So now, in this posture here, I can really help in the stomach. For many of us, most of our problems start psychologically. And from what I'm aware, a lot of it comes through emotion. And in the human form, from what I'm aware, from my own perspective, from my own philosophy, is that we store a lot of it within the abdominal area, the emotions. And this, I, I believe, it really affects everything in, in everyday life. It affects the way you talk, it affects the way you think, it affects the way you move. If we are always keeping stuff in and not letting stuff out. The secret to really, if you want to really help yourself, the secret is to learn to let go. Let go both metaphorically and physically, just to let go. Whereas if you think about it, often the way you're moving right now, you're moving with your ego. And your body, it does everything naturally your body doesn't need you to teach you to breathe you don't need to remind yourself to breathe your body breathes by itself if you can practice some kind of med meditation or moving meditation it will really help you start a relationship with your body so when whenever you do physical activities you're in harmony with your body you're not using your body like a slave you're not using it like a workhorse or a war horse you're using your body like it's a stallion, a steed, or a unicorn, or a pegasus. Something that is not your slave, something that is your companion, your friend, 
your lover. And that was the other side. So now we're just on the crown, on the head, base of the scalp. Still last bit of blockage right here. Just going. Getting in there. Allow this energy to flow. Allow the river to flow. When we think of rivers, we think of it flowing in one direction. But have a nice contemplation about it. Yes, indeed, when I sit beside this lake, I see that it becomes a river a river that flows in one direction and this direction leads towards the ocean but from the ocean this water rises and becomes clouds and these clouds waft and drift and flow towards the mountain and from the mountain it becomes snow snow falling on the tips of the mountain gathering and then the snow melts and it trickles downwards down the mountain gathering up in streams and rivers and once again it joins me from where I am by the lake so you see this flow is constant things are always changing. Things are forever changing. Just allow things to flow. Running out of space. E. E. So I was able just to pull the spine from the crown all the way down to the root, as far down as we could, just to give lock some decompression on the spine. If you listen carefully now, her breath is so much more fuller. Yeah. So now we're on the atlas, the cranium, from where most people sit. This is where the ego sits most of the time. The ego sits here, it uses the eyes as windows. But when you're too powerful up here, you start believing in what you see with your eyes. I promise you, my love, what you see is illusion. The reflection you see in the mirror is only what you want to see. But when you start forming a relationship with your body by using the ebb and flow of breath as the mediator, as the teacher, as the guide, it allows you to become in harmony with your body. It allows you to become present. When you're present, you will start becoming more full-bodied. You start to feel with your heart. You start to listen to your heart. You start to really feel and move with your heart. You listen to your gut. This is the center of your being. Right here is the center of your being. Your center of your being. Here is your heart. Follow your heart. Listen to your heart. Speak with your heart. Listen with your heart. Up here is only imagination. 
Here is where we imagine. Here where we can solve problems. But remember, the world is no problems. We create our own problems. Humble thyself. Humble thyself. So, um, so everyone, well done. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed yourself. If you are asleep, I hope that tomorrow when you wake up, you will become very aware. So now we have come towards the end of this unintentional ASMR video. If you are asleep now, I hope that when you wake up tomorrow, you will feel blessed knowing that this life that we all share is for you to share as well. And if you're still awake, thank you so much for watching. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Until the next time, I'm the Avatar. Namaste, Chi, Kai, Omnitiform.